you want? <laughs> Nothing much. Looking for trouble. So are you. <laughs> I hear that you learn how to fight here. Thought I'd try out. What? know that your boss is a Westerner. Today, I've come to talk to him, not you. What's the problem? Why not discuss it? You answer for him? Tell me, why have you come barging in here like this? Just what are you after? You don't seem to have much of a memory. I told you, we come here to talk to your boss. We have? Who else is there? It's me. Please forgive me. The person we've come to see is the big Westerner. Where's that? We'd like him to close down this school. Close down the nightclub. And also his movie business. You! Hold it. Well, it seems that you're not being too polite. He's touchy. We already said. We'll talk with your boss, not you. What'd he do to you? <laughs> he knows why we're here. Oh, well, if that's the case, I won't trouble you any further. Our boss is not in right now. If you'd like to, you could leave a message. Hmm. We might as well. I'm called Chang Hong. I'm from Amsterdam. I'm at the Feng Cheng Hotel. You can contact me there. Thank you. Let's be going. <laughs> Boston? I must see him urgently. Please wait a moment. Mr. Chen is here. Yes. The boss will see you now. Right. Thank you. Hold it. Who is he? Oh, he is my new assistant, Yu Ching. Oh, 
This is the boss's private bodyguard, Tom. Oh. <laughs> Tell him to wait outside. Eugene, go wait outside. All right. Come in. How are you, boss? Fine, Peter. Boss, there's a small incident at the school today. What? A man and a woman came and started a fight there. The man said to tell you, he's called Chang Hong, and he's from Amsterdam. Chang Hong? From Amsterdam? I don't know anyone in Amsterdam. Are you sure? There's no mistake. He then said, that you knew about him. This man and the girl, their kung fu was good. You sure you don't know them? What else did he say? Nothing. He left these matches behind. I've already checked. He's staying at this hotel. Okay, take two men with you and find out all you can. They invite him over here to visit me. Right. I'll see you later. Mr. Chen, please have a seat. Please. Thanks. Mr. Chang, the boss told me he doesn't know you at all. What's more, he's never been to Holland. I think this is some kind of mistake. Hmm. And so, I'd like to talk with you. Let's try and solve this riddle. Mr. Chen, I don't make mistakes. I'm here to avenge my father's death. I'd like you to tell him that I will never rest easy until he's dead. Mr. Chang, if you've made up your mind, then that's that. But let me just warn you. Talking's easy. Doing is different. You're gonna have problems. I'm aware of that. Your Kung Fu school specializes in training fighters. And your boss has many bodyguards. But still, I'm told you're his right-hand man. Now then, if you would just be willing to turn a blind eye, it could benefit both of us. <laughs> Please forgive me, but the boss is paying me quite handsomely. I just couldn't do it. It wouldn't be polite. Come in. <laughs> Come on, deal with him. Uh, Come on, it's an order. Um, Mr. Chen, please go back and tell your boss. I'm fully prepared for him. <laughs> Mr. Chen, you're not the man we're after. Now, if it had been your boss who'd come here, <laughs> he'd not have got out. Show Mr. Chen to the door. Go. I built this organization. I've never killed a man, and I've no enemy by the name of Chang. There's something odd about him. He's not all he pretends to be. What do you mean? There's someone behind him giving him instructions. That's it. You're right, Peter. It must be Sing Chi Sang. I've been very patient with him. 
But now my patience is running out. Peter, go and bring him over to me. To buy him up? Right. <laughs> I'm going to use Singh's men against him. <laughs> I don't get it. You don't seem to be too satisfied with Mr. Singh. I'll tell you the story later. Most important now is to buy Chang. Right. I'll go and arrange everything. I want to see how tough this Chang is. All right. Believe me in one piece. Then bring him over to me.
to see you. Well, fetch him inside then, while I go and change. Well then, what's the matter? Uh, it's the opposition. They're preparing to fight. Well, didn't Mr. Chen go see him? What's all the excitement about? Yeah, I have no idea at all. Just now, in the nightclub, I overheard a rumor that all their best fighters will deal with this guy Chang tomorrow in the goods yard. That's a good opportunity. Uh, I don't understand. I'm going to give my support to this guy, Chang. Do they know of Master Wong, the new fighter I've employed? Uh, I don't think they've heard of him yet. Mr. Singh, is Master Wong's Kung Fu that good? I'm not kidding you. His Kung Fu's superb. And his knife work is excellent. Oh. Yu Ching, <laughs> from this time on, you must keep me well informed of what Paul's doing. Uh, sure, boss. Hey, Ty. See you, Ching out. Oh. <laughs> I'll be in touch. Hmm. Please. <laughs> Mr. Wang, see you around. <laughs> well, then, Wang, what do you think? They'll be at the goods yard. Why do you want to meet here? What's the point? <laughs> 
This is the last chance you'll get to come to terms with the boss. Now tell me what you want. I've made it very clear already. I want to see that he dies. I think I should warn you, you're on dangerous ground. Can't we come to some agreement? Hmm. You could ask him to kill himself. You're gone too far. Do you think you can get out of here? Now! Everything arranged. Right! Come on, Bobby! So it's you. You brought those men. That's right. Well, tell me, who the hell are you? A friend. Now, what sort of friend? A friend. If you'll excuse me, I'll be leaving. Is that right? Goodbye. Hold it! What is it? Let's go. And where to? To talk. Who with? Sing Chi Sang? That's right. Oh, why didn't you say so? to go. It was very strange. Chang brought along a lot of fighters. You said they were only him and the girl. Well, the girl didn't show up. 30 or 40 guys showed up, though. So I couldn't deal with him.
Well. You say he just came from Amsterdam. How could he get so much help? Must be someone behind all this. That's what I think. Find out where he really came from. Maybe that'll give me some idea who's behind it. Right. I'll do what I can. Hold it. How old is he? Oh, about 26. Did he mention other names? No. He just said his name's Chang Hung. Chang Hung. That's a strange name. I've never heard of it. You better get to the bottom of this. And quick. Right. I'll see what I can do. It's a small matter. You're an outsider. I'm sure we can solve this easily. I'll do what I can. But still, I don't quite see why you should want to get even with a fellow like Paul. <laughs> well, it's a personal matter. I don't think so. You see, he's been putting on a big show. You tell me, and maybe I can help you. Mr. Singh, why don't you just say you want to use me? <laughs> Mr. Chang, that's not too polite. What makes you say I want to use you? It's pretty obvious to me. If not, why should you bother to help me? Good. You're smart. Well, how about we cooperate? How do you mean? Well, now. I'll let you deal with Paul. However, if you want, I'll take care of the rest. You keep me informed of all that happened. Hmm. Mr. Singh, I don't see why I should cooperate with you. Oh? You're gonna handle him by yourself? That's a different matter. But if you want my help, then it's gonna cost you. It's obvious. Once Paul is out of the way, the good, the bad, It'll all be yours. Why don't you work it out? Every year. How much more will you make? On the other hand, now if I cooperated with Paul, well, how would you like that? Then, what you mean is that? 10 grand. $10,000 is a lot of money. I wonder if you're really worth all that. You perhaps mean that... Let's take this slowly. Show me what you can do. And we decide. When do you want it? Right now? No. Paul has a guard named Tom. He's in the training school. Just go spar with him. And how will you find out? I'll arrange that myself. Oh? Right. Then it's decided. Right. I came here to find you. Are you the boss's bodyguard? I've come to see just how good you are. Hey, go back and tell the boss. The boss said he doesn't know you, so why are you always bothering him? Oh, no, no, no. I didn't come to see your boss today. I've come especially to see you. Huh? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hmm. 
Chang Hong. Right. You must be Paul. I have been looking for you for a long time. I don't know you. What do you want? I want you. If you can beat these two, then you can try it with me. Come again.
That bastard Chang Hung. His kung fu's really good. Hmm. He's exceptional. Could be useful to us. You got a look at his face? Look like a girl. A girl? How could it be? Who's the go-between? Zhao Yin Pun. Why the trouble in my place? Just to confuse Sing Chi Sang. Spell that out. The only way to get on side with him was to beat up your fighters. He has full confidence in me now. When do you start? I'll make my move at the right moment. I want it clean and no problems. If there's any problems, you don't find me, I'll find you. Mm -hmm. Is that clear? What did you find out? They have a spy there. Who? The name's Yu Ching. Well, that's inconvenient. I'll find a way to remove him. Mm. Don't show yourself. After tomorrow, we must be secretive. Right. From tomorrow, we'll work separately. We got a job to do right now. Mm. Check watches. Just ten minutes. Mm.
Don't move. It's Chan Hong. <laughs> what brings you over here? What's the matter? There's something I must tell you now. Yu Ching is a spy for Singh. And this film was shot by him. Someone's here. I'll see you. Yes. Yu Ching, the boss wanted us to ask you about this film. Was it you who shot it? No, 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 it wasn't me. It, it, it's a film of that guy Chang fighting Tom. I didn't take it. <laughs> wasn't you. Then how'd you know it shows Tom and Chang fighting? Uh, huh? Tom! Huh? Uh, Who's behind this? I don't know. I really don't know. You better start talking. Uh, uh, hey, Tom, don't be so rough now. Uh, don't forget, uh, he's one of us. Let's sit down and discuss uh, this. Take him close to me. Sit down. Uh, you, Ching, we're all trying to make a living. Everything's a matter of cash. Everyone makes a mistake now. However, don't make the same mistake twice. The bus has given orders. Look, an air ticket and cash. All we want you to tell us is who you're working for and what the deal is. We'll make sure you're absolutely safe. All this cash is yours, and the ticket. We'll make sure that you can leave here, still in one piece. Yeah. Well, now, uh... Come on. Oh, thank you. <laughs> really? Does this look like it's fake? Huh? <laughs> right. Mr. Singh, no. Sing Chi Sang wanted me to keep him informed of the situation over here. What's more, that fellow Chang Hong has just been brought out by Singh to eliminate your boss. All of those men at the yard with theirs. Uh, look, I swear, it's the truth. <laughs> All right. We won't be hard on you. You can go now. Uh, uh, I can leave? You can leave. We'll see you on the plane. Well, it, uh... Well, I'll have to go and pack my things. There's no need. All this cash should be enough for your purposes. <laughs> OK. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Speaking. What's that? Do you know when it was found? This morning. Yeah. Hey, Ty. Please come over here. Hey, boss. What is it? Please sit down. Oh. Yu Ching has been murdered. Oh? Do you know when? The body was found today. And it's certain Paul's men did it. How could kill him? Settle down. It's probably got something to do with that film. <laughs> it's only a matter of time. And then we'll... Send Wang Yifei. No. This is not the time to use him. You go and make arrangements. I think we'll give them a small gift. Understand? 
Yeah, I understand. We're getting moving. Right. There's no guest yet. Excuse me. Yes? My name's Chen. I yes. want to see your boss. Oh, yes. Just a minute. Yes? Isn't Mr. Chen to see the boss? Ah. Uh, won't be long. Fine. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Chen. The boss will see you right now. Uh, thank you. Please. His man is his manager. Oh, this is Mr. Wong. Mr. Chen. Well, Mr. Chen, you have something to say? Of course. I'll be totally frank with you. Both our sides have recently lost men. I wish to discuss this, find a solution. <laughs> That's not my problem. My side didn't start it. Also, go back and tell Paul. He fights, and I'll fight. But still, I'll accept the truth. Mr. Singh, you and Paul should not be enemies. You used to be extremely good friends. That's easy to say, but I'm sure you know in the past few years, Paul has made himself a fortune from us Chinese. I don't understand why he should mind if I do a bit of extra. Right, Mr. Singh. I hope that one day the two of you can get together. If there's ever anything I can do for you, please just give me a call. Hey, Ty. Sir. Please escort Mr. Chen out. Sir. Goodbye. Mr. Singh, do you really want to make peace with Paul? I want to confuse him. We could never cooperate. One day, there'll be a showdown. That's good. Otherwise, what use am I? Be patient. You will get your chance. Hey, Ty. Yeah? How's Mr. Chang to guide? Right. Mr. Chang, the talk we had last time. I've made up my mind. Well, that's good. So here is the first five grand. The rest you'll get 
After the job. Hmm. What do you mean? This is the price we agreed. But things are different now. What do you want? 20 grand. What? If you think it's too expensive, go find someone else. Hold it. Now wait. I agree. 20 grand. Here's a deposit. I don't want any deposit. I'll take the lot at once. When will you do the job? Three to five days. You satisfied? Mm -hmm. OK. I'll send the cash over tomorrow. Well, all right. Now you're getting itchy. You're right. I am getting mighty itchy. I know your kung fu is as good as Chang Hong. But then Paul wants him to kill me. But you see, I'll get Chang Hong to kill Paul himself. After that, I can relax. Then you will be able to make your move. Oh. Once Paul has been killed, you deal with Chang Hong. And the 20 grand will be yours. That's good. <laughs> I want to talk to you. Know who Chang Hong is? Your enemy wants you dead. He's a killer, hired by me. Oh? Who do you want dead? Sing Chi Chang. Sing Chi Chang? Don't you understand why I haven't made a film for so long? He wasn't, because Sing Chi Chang cut into the market. I wasn't intending films. I was exporting smack. Heroin. That's right. Now he's trying to move me out. It's my fault. I trusted him. In the import-export company, we were partners. Now it's all his. Well, boss, the idea is good. But still, why have you chosen a killer from outside? I could do it for you easily. I'm sure you could. But there's no way the police would connect me with an outside hit. Hmm. That's a good point. I'm not sure if I can trust him. Why is that? He's not dependable. And I have 10 kilos that I can't get rid of. Oh. So you get 10 kilos. And about Chang? What do you want me to do? I want you to take care of those two problems for me. I'll find a way. Yeah. Yeah, speaking. What's that? Mei Yun? Factory?
Did Mr. Singh tell you to bring this? He did. And what is it? Cash. When does he want me to do it? There's no need. Just take the cash. What the hell do you mean? What do I mean? I've just told you. Okay? You take the cash and leave here immediately. Take the cash? And just leave? You're kidding. Just do as he tells you. You tell me the reason. Away you. Really? Sent here by Paul? Mr. Chang. You are very stupid. Take it back. I don't want it. I tell you, I'll kill Paul for myself alone. That money, I don't need it. But I'm not leaving here just yet. Goodbye. No way will I go along with Singh. That son of a bitch has been in my back for years. Now just listen to me. This agreement is really fake. Play along? Right. We'll fool them. I remember last time you were telling me. We got 10 kilos of smack that we can't move. What about it? From what I've been told, it seems Singh needs some stuff badly. Why don't we sell him the stuff we've got for a nice high price? And also tell him, we intend to pull out so that the Southeast Asian trade will be all his. But still, we must remember the handover must be made at one of his drug factories. And the payment must be in cash. When we get there, It'll be real easy to deal with them. Later, you will be in sole control of the entire area. We could gain a lot by going along with them. It's a good idea, but he won't go along with it. I'll arrange it all. The only other problem is that fellow Chang Hung. Why? Because he's still really uncommitted. He's dealing with you and the other side. I don't trust him. He's a dangerous man. What do you mean? He is not all that he pretends to be. I'll buy him off all right. You take care of Singh.
What's the meaning of this? Deal's off. Why's that? I want you out of town. Well, what about Sing Chi Sang then? You heard me. The deal's off. <laughs> All right. I must tell you. I'm now working for Sing Chi Sang. He's paying me well to make sure you die. Hey, relax. I wouldn't dare kill you in this temple. So you ought to make a small offering to Buddha. You're not out of town next time we meet. Start praying.
What's so funny? <laughs> Paul, we've been good friends for many years. Just what are you so nervous about? Come off it. We were never friends. This is business. Right. Well, let us talk business then. What's the procedure? I've got a deal for you. Ten kilos. Are you interested or not? <laughs> of course I am. But first I have to know what the price is. Wholesale. Hmm. Plus ten. Before I decide, what's the terms? Since we're friends, an exchange. That's okay. When do we meet? We'll meet the exchange in your factory. When? I'll decide the time. We'll be in touch. Not bad. The situation's changing. How's it changing? Singh gave me the cash. But said I had to leave and not kill Paul. And then Paul's stranger still. He played along well, then tried to kill me. I've got some news to tell you, too. The two of them seem to be in league. Yes, I know. All about that. I think they've got something big going on. We'll just have to wait and see. When they have made their move, then we can move in.
How come you're so late? Early or late? What's the difference? What do you mean by that? Get your hands up, or you'll be sorry. <laughs> now the fun begins. You'll never make it. Well now, how come you're so late? So it's a double cross. Heh, <laughs> that's right. But I think you found out a bit too late. It's me who arranged for this meeting. I've got all the money and the heroin together. 
Right now, I can take the whole damn lot. And that's just what I plan to do. Mr. Singh, did you really think I'd go along with you? <laughs> I'll tell you. I also arranged for Wong to become your bodyguard. Put him away. Don't move! Where the police? Stay where you are. We caught you red-handed. A cop. Police? That's right. You're all now under arrest. Take the stuff away. Not so fast. Have a look what's behind you. Anyone who double crosses me is dead. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 